Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, guys. The big out. decision is here. He's about to log in and see. Let me find Whoa. Whoa. Just make a U-turn and park on the other side or something. Or park right here. Don't worry, park in red zone or park right here. Oh, go right here. No, no, why are you going in places? Then turn on on Drive. Oh, God. My heart rate's going up, guys. Here. 5% Milan, hurry up. Let me see. Go all the way, I can't even see. Wait a second, let me put in my application number. Oh, wait, not split out anyways. Okay, city, state of birth. Oh, God. City of birth. Did you log in? I'm about to. I'm scared for my life, man. Did you log in or no? Not yet. Do it! Move your hand! I didn't get in. No way. I didn't get in. No way. You swear. I didn't get into UCLA. What? We regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission for fall quarter 2016. No way. No way. You Dude, swear. that sucks. Shit. That's... What? Why? That's, that's unbelievable to me. No way. No way. You swear. Shit. Okay, I'm deleting this. Okay, yeah, I, I, I I know you would have gotten enough to finish more of your stuff. Yeah, that's the, literally the only reason I didn't get into UCLA. Okay, it's not between USC and UC San Diego. Shit. Hello, hello. Let's just stop recording. Now. All right, guys. It's actually the next day right now, but I feel like I need to actually explain a bit more about my UCLA rejection. So, practically, you guys saw me get rejected by UCLA. So I'm probably gonna have three videos going up today. One of them being the main vlog, one of them being my UC San Diego acceptance, the other being my UCLA rejection. So this obviously is being added to the end of the UCLA rejection video. Now, as for those of you guys wondering, I applied as a computer science major, I have a 4.0 GPA, but I do not have all major preps done. And that's probably the reason why I got rejected. Most of the students, well, the high majority of the students from what I hear that get accepted into UCLA's computer science program are 4.0 GPA students who have all major preps done. So if I actually finished all those major preps, which I would most likely have done in a year or so's time, or if I were to apply after my third year of community college, then I would hopefully i would like to believe that i would get admitted if i were to ace those classes which would hopefully happen but that's not the case since i don't have all my major prep done the reason i do not have all my major prep done is because i used to actually be a business major so i would have been done with all my business major prep this year but i changed to a computer science major after my first year of community college so I had to do a bit of catching up and I was not able to finish all my major prep. But yeah, that's the reason why I did not get accepted to UCLA. I know it might freak you guys out a little bit, a 4.0 GPA student not getting accepted into UCLA, but trust me, there's a lot of other people with lower GPAs that got accepted to UCLA. It's just the situation I'm in personally was a little bit more difficult because I am a, in a highly impacted major without all my major prep done. So if you're a computer science major trying to go into UCLA, get your major prep done. It's really important and maintain a high GPA as high as possible into your extracurriculars. If you're in a different major, don't think that if you don't get a 4.0, you're not going to get into UCLA because you don't you don't need it necessarily a 4.0 for all majors to get into UCLA. You just need a strong GPA, depends on your major, and it's important to finish all major preps if you're in a highly impacted major. My major is extremely highly impacted at UCLA, so I understand it makes a lot of sense so I didn't get in. 
I did not expect myself. Like I wasn't holding my breath to get in, but I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm in a position because I have a 4.0 GPA with a good amount of major prep done. So I was in a position where I was like, okay, this could either be me getting accepted by hope and like just being happy, or I could get denied because I'm missing the major prep. That's where it was like borderlining right there. So. Yeah, I got accepted to UC San Diego as an undeclared major. I'll be explaining that in the UC San Diego video. That link will probably be in the description box, my UCSD acceptance reaction. Um, also, I'm actually waiting for my ultimate dream school to respond to my, um, my letter, my application soon, hopefully. That school is actually USC. So it kind of makes sense that I wouldn't get to UCLA if I wanted to go to USC. Now my situation with USC is I have a 4.0 GPA as you guys know and I will hopefully have all major prep done. I, I'm pretty sure I have it all done. They don't require as much as the UCs and stuff in terms of major prep because they're okay with you um, taking those classes over there. So that's why I'm in a, I'm in a more confident situation with them. And they're the school. They're the school I want to attend. So, hopefully, hopefully, I get into there. That's my my dream school. But yeah, let's see. Um, anything else I need to tell you guys in terms of UCLA? Since this is the UCLA acceptance video, not acceptance video, UCLA rejection video. Okay. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them in terms of like the. Um, application process um, maybe some other information about other people or stuff like that but otherwise congrats to everyone who got into UCLA um, you guys deserved it you guys worked hard I uh, was I wish I could be celebrating with you guys but it's cool the main thing I'm waiting for is USC so hey if I get into USC we might be enemies in the fall semester so yeah Let's end this video and be sure to check out my other videos, the UCSD acceptance and the vlog from today. But I feel like ending this video like a vlog, but it's not a vlog, so later guys.